Orlando, Florida. It's the Cube covering Sapphire Now. Headline sponsored by SAP HANA Cloud, the leader in platform as a service, with support from Console Inc., the cloud internet company. Now here are your hosts. John Furrier and Peter Burris. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are live here in Orlando, Florida for SAP Sapphire, exclusive coverage from SiliconANGLE Media's The Cube. This is our flagship program where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Peter Burris. I want to thank our sponsors for getting us here. SAP, HANA Cloud Platform, Console Inc., Capgemini, and EMC, thanks for the sponsoring. Our next guests are Jeff Thurston, Director of ISV, Cloud and Platform Partnerships at SAP, and Camilla Daylin, who's the head of ISV Cloud and Platform Partnerships at SAP. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Thank you. So, a lot of great momentum going on with HANA Cloud right now. So, you know, talk about the, what this means now, because we had uh, Sandeep on, a customer of yours earlier, mm -hmm. and it just showed how awesome it was just to stand up a venture, went from two and a half years from an idea to hundreds of employees. Mm -hmm. Really phenomenal example. This is going to be a great enabler mm -hmm. for startups and businesses. What is the OEM ISV practice? How's that now working? Because it looks like you have a pretty interesting business model developing right here. So what's the, what's the group do? Tell us about your plans. Oh, absolutely. So our organization works with partners to help them enter the digital world. Um, they can take either existing partners that have existing an existing business and they can extend those products and platforms that they have, move them into the cloud using the HANA Cloud Platform or HANA on-premise and add new functionality that's required for their various markets and do that quickly and safely. Um, another idea are these complete startups. So they can build and develop and they can extend into SAP applications or develop something completely different and unique um, on HANA Cloud Platform supported by SAP. And we have some great examples here. Sapphire this year, um, we have multiple partners that are here talking about showcasing their solutions that they built on HANA and HANA Cloud Platform and Jeff can talk to some of those. What's well, some examples? Yeah. Some scary, brilliant uh, ideas that are emerging out of this partnership. Early yesterday we were highlighting a few of them and the comment was, there's so much speed going on with development that this like all these new ideas are popping up. It's kind of blowing people's minds that SAP like they created a monster here with this. Share some examples. Yeah, we're we're giving our partners and customers the ability to really look at their businesses, reinvent their business models, and take it to the next level with some of the unique use cases they're doing. One of the things we're seeing is really how do they reach more customers, reach more of their partners, how do they enhance that experience for that end user? Uh, so we have a number of partners that are leveraging HANA Cloud Platform, building extensions that are helping increase that uh, experience from an end user perspective. Um, a couple specifics are centered around Fizzle. Fizzle's a great partner of ours where they're in the sports and entertainment industry and they're enhancing that fan experience, being able through social media and other means um, really understand the fan as they're uh, interacting or engaging with that either sports team or specific performer that they enjoy. Bringing all of those different people accessing the social world together during, uh, during an event. Um, another Another good example is a good partner of ours called Core, where imagine if you can um, look at having a conversation with a back-end system. That could be an SAP system or a non-SAP system. And having a conversation like we are today, imagine if you could do that with a back-end application or a system and have that application learn and understand you know, your routines and then being able to provide that back. So we're doing a lot of uh, interesting work, interesting use cases to continue to What's develop What's interesting, that. You, I mean, I was talking about some, one of our sponsors, Console is a startup in uh, California, and they do interconnect, they're all interconnect guys. And they brought up this concept to me, and I'm like, it's networking, it's basically packets. Mm -hmm. it's, below, it's really down in the plumbing. And they said they're building a social network, and what they meant was, and this is interesting, because you just brought this up uh, as another data point, is that, it's social can be the apps and infrastructure. They got to talk to each other. Mm -hmm. So explain what you mean by social, because that's an interesting dynamic that is now a trend that we're seeing. Yeah, and what I mean by social, it's, it's how, how the end consumer is acting with that application or how they are communicating. Um, it could be through Twitter, it could be through um, Facebook, 
um, you know, it could be through standard iMessaging. You know, it's all these different uh, interactions, and as the, you know, as we look at the different generations and the millennials, they're looking for ease of use of that application, or how do they interact? Um, so it's it's not just about that application; it's about how do they interact with it in a simple text type of format? Yeah, the UI or UX. The UI enhancing that experience at all levels. But also integrating those applications with their ID or identity and other things they have to exactly. be enabled by. Exactly. So yeah. how do you, you mentioned also the idea that SAP is providing insight in how your partners can evolve their business models as we move from a world where you license, you pay upfront for licenses, to a world that's becoming more on demand or where you're using a SaaS oriented model. Any software company wants to see a large customer base that they can go to, wants to see great tools that keep the cost of maintenance down, but they also want to see prospects that allow them to evolve their business. Are you guys taking an active role in, in showing these small and large partners how to evolve their business so they can move forward with you? Yeah, absolutely. The, our organization, we work full circle with our partners. So we start in identifying what the market opportunity is for a certain idea. And that idea, again, can be completely standalone, something that has nothing to do with SAP. Or it can be a way to extend an SAP application or an SAP solution into a new area, a new industry, or into the cloud, et cetera. Um, we develop a business plan together with our partners. We work with them on the go-to-market uh, the launch, the live launch of the actual solution, as well as the ongoing go-to-market and technical support. So we're really partners with them. We make sure they're successful. Their success is our success. So they're we, key we talk, we talk about. We talk about. Uh, we just had uh, Accenture on. We talked a bit about the notion of vertical. Are you guys building SAP for software companies as a way of helping them run their business on SAP? Is that something you're doing? Uh, building SAP for software companies? Yeah, so for your software partners, your, your software partners, are you deploying, are you helping, are they using SAP as a platform Some. to run their business and then adding value to themselves and their customers? Yeah, you know, there are a few way? different, like HANA Cloud Platform, there are a few different ways to view that. One is existing SAP customers that use HANA Cloud Platform to extend for their own business. Everybody customizes their solution and for their particular needs. That would not be part of what we do. However, some companies may want to offer an extension as a subscription service to the market as a whole. We could get involved in that. Uh, in that kind of scenario. Yeah, and a great example of that is a partner working with Smart Utility Systems, SUS. We're helping them transform how, transform how consumers interact with their utility companies from standard bill payments to outages, water consumption, um, and just the whole being able to, you know, leveraging the HANA Cloud platform, allowing them to extend their capabilities, reach new customers, reach new, new use cases um, from a software company themselves, um, they've really embraced the HANA Cloud platform to help them and then help these utility customers reach their end users. The big news uh, this week, uh, well, this week, but that, you know, in general this month with SAP has been Apple. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple is the darling, they got so much cash on the balance sheet they could be in their own country. But obviously the consumerization of IT is really mm -hmm. what they've shown. Mm -hmm. and They've been doing a lot of deals right lately with um, the leaders. Mm -hmm. You guys uh, have a strategic relationship with Apple as a company. That seems like a perfect storm for your growth opportunity. Mm -hmm. How does that impact the OEM group, the ISVs, because you're just bringing candy to the candy store for the developers. Yeah. Because everyone loves Swift, right? So that's a big mm -hmm. deal, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the impact of Apple? Well, we think we're going to see a whole new set of developers now developing iOS solutions and extensions for SAP uh, software or completely new uh, products as well. On, we're, we're going to be delivering an iOS SDK on HANA Cloud Platform that they can use to extend out into these mobile applications. So we expect our ecosystem to grow exponentially. What's some of the feedback well. you've been hearing just in the hallways around just Apple? People buzz and jazzed or what? Yes, I very mean. much so, very much so. But, but let me build on that. So, uh, can, I, can I imagine that within the next couple of years, I can go to the, uh, the, uh, the app store and get an Apple compliant app that also has an SAP compliance or, or associated with it so that I can, as, a, as an employee, I can 
pull down an application and have a pretty high certainty to my IT organization, it's going to be happy because it plugs into SAP mm -hmm. in a right. in a architected way. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of where we're going with this? I would imagine so. I would imagine that's one of the scenarios. I think we're going to see a lot of new solutions that we haven't even thought of yet um, that will also be available. But that's your hope. You want to see a white space monetize it through the the back of SAP because you have such breadth. Right. On the, on the and, distribution. and helping to really helping to simplify those biz business processes through that partnership. Yeah, Peter and I live in Palo Alto, and our, our office in Palo Alto, so we're in the Silicon Valley. We've been there for 17 years, moved from the wet East Coast. And one thing I love about Silicon Valley is there's so much innovation going on, and mm -hmm. and and you get the unicorns that are kind of dying, a couple of them staying around, but you see companies building tools very fast the, with the cloud, people building platforms as well. But to get the to crack the enterprise mm -hmm. is hard nut to crack. It really is difficult. And now we're starting to see some of those startups that were born in the cloud. Some have made it, there's been the haves and have nots, but now people are struggling. So this seems like a great opportunity for as an ecosystem to go to that developers are saying, you can have a hundred million dollar business on mm -hmm. SAP, or mm -hmm. have a nice business on SAP without reinventing anything. So in a way, you guys are providing an on-ramp. Am I getting that right yeah. for the developer? Yeah, I believe yeah. The, the OEM business model from an SAP perspective really helps the HANA Cloud platform, you know, reach those startups and reach these new customers. Um, it's allowing them to develop new business models where the consumers are really looking, you know, for options. And that's what we're providing. Or they, can, the they, can, or they can pick a white space that's not innovative and say, hey, I'm going to own the expense reporting app and be mm -hmm. the best at one feature and crush it, and Workday be like, wait a minute, we have that, but it's not as modern. Yeah. You know, so I'm envisioning and we will enable them, so we will provide them the platform, the technology, the tool set, as well as regular training and enablement to take that to market. So we're talking about bringing some of the consumer-oriented ecosystems mm -hmm. and one of the leading enterprise ecosystems mm -hmm. together. Can we assume that there are going to be other consumer ecosystems that become a part of this? Yeah, I would hope so, yeah, absolutely. My final Absolutely. question uh, for Jeff and Camilla, if you both can answer, it'd be great. Share with the audience that's watching, what's the vibe of the show this year? Obviously you guys have an exciting area with the Honor Cloud Platform, um, but outside of your group, or within your group, or here, what's the vibe of the show? What do people talk about in the hallways? What's the buzz? What's some of the highlights? Well, I'm going to just speak for our uh, group in particular. We have, like I said earlier, we have so many partners, and more partners than we've ever had before with really new and cool solutions. I've attended some of the presentations and demonstrations that they're doing, and it's full, it's packed. So I see lots of uh, excitement around that area, and you yeah, can probably speak to that back, as well. Back on, you know, on, our, on our partners around the OEM space, and you see what they're doing with the HANA Cloud platform, the innovation that they're bringing around it. Um, I've been to a lot of these Sapphires before, just the overall vibe is great. I think, um, you know, from an OEM perspective, again, what our partners are now able to show in front of all these SAP customers is a true testament of where SAP's going and the technology. Yeah, and enabling platform solid. HANA Cloud platform here inside theCUBE. We're live in Orlando. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burris. You're watching theCUBE, we'll be right back. There'll be millions of people in the near future that are, want to be involved in their own personal well-being and in wellness. Nobody wants to age in a way that we're bound to a chair or a bed. And I think being able to manage one's health